And let's look at the McKee math uh, right now. Given any set of six numbers, there are six times five times four times three <laughs> times two times one equals six factorial, and then a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. Th the fact is, you can't win, can you? Oh, you can win. Somebody probably will win. I mean, you and I were talking yesterday. You said you would never buy a ticket for just five hundred million dollars, but you might be interested if it was half a billion. Yes. <laughs> Which it is. My attention. Now, uh, <laughs> that gets everyone's attention. Admit it. We've all bought tickets. Here's what the payouts would be. You could take the annuity. Now, with Powerball, it's 29 years. That's a long one. It's an average of just over $17 million. Now, you don't get $17 million each year because they adjust for inflation. You get more in the out years. The immediate cash value is now $327,400,000. Or for Sarah, Choice it's about 304, <laughs> 305,000 pairs of Christian Louboutin but shoes. Which you could appreciate. I was value. going to say, which you could argue would be so, a very good investment. That's, that's, the that's part of the point calculation. Here is it's a $500 million win, and the net present value right now is $327 million. Yeah, which raises the question of do you take that or do you take it in that 17 approximately million a year chunk? Probably because of the size of the chunk, you would want to go with the cash. But let's go through it. First of all, you take the annuity, 29 years, you get all the $500 million. There's no discount there. But 29 years, God forbid something should happen. I mean, it will be paid to your heirs. But you wouldn't get all the money if something happened to you. It is, as I said, inflation protected. They give you about a 4% premium over the life of it. And you get the guaranteed return. You know what you're going to get. And ordinarily, you would have more ability to limit your taxes, at least on a lower payout, because there are things you can do on a year-by-year -year basis that would limit the taxes you pay. Now, at $17 million, you're pretty much stuck. You're going to pay the highest rates no matter what. But if you're part of a group, that wins and you have to split the money, that's something you may want to con uh, consider. Take the cash. Well, most investment advisors say you probably want to do that. You would get, the, it varies based on taxes, state taxes. I'm using a very conservative estimate of about 203 million. Others say, like in the state of Connecticut, you could get as much as 220 million. You may be able to invest that yourself and make more money over the life of that 29 years if you buy the shoes and, as Sarah says, they appreciate in value. And here comes the fiscal cliff question. This is happening right now. After January 1st, tax rates may go up. They will withhold 25% now, and you'd have to pay another 10% yeah, but, but, probably next year, but it could go higher than that, so maybe you want to do this right now. Because it's such a large nut, if you win by yourself, not within a group, I would suggest you want to take the annuity because you can you can reinvest such a large portion of $17 million and have a, a more diversified and spread out control of whatever investments you do versus taking $203 million now and trying to find a warm spot for it. Well, there's one other thing you got to take into account, and that's Ben Bernanke interest rates. With interest rates so low, the net present value is much higher than it ordinarily would yes. be. Three to five percent interest rates, and you'd get maybe half of that five hundred million. Now you're going to get more, you know, the before taxes. Now you're going to get this uh, extra hundred million or so, uh, a gift from the Federal Reserve. I Very love cool. That. I love this financial planning with Michael McKee. Let's get the street news. You're Scarlet Food.